Hey, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade For, and welcome to my channel. All right, y'all, today we are gonna do some St. Patrick's Day fun that anybody is gonna love, but especially the kiddos. Uh, you can do this for kids, teens, grandkids, friends, spouses, whoever, and we're gonna use pretty much everything from Dollar Tree. There's only like one or two things, but because Dollar Tree doesn't sell it, <laughs> that I had to go to like Kroger. I just wanted to do something fun and budget friendly that anyone can do. And believe me, you can go crazy with it. <laughs> you don't do whatever you want, but I got a lot of stuff in here from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna do like a fun little decorating thing. And then I've got like four or five different like Alias thorn on the couch. <laughs> and I got like four or five like treats that we're gonna do together. So, all right, let's start right here with the mantle. Okay, if you watched my Dollar Tree haul on Friday, you saw that y'all, I bought the rainbow. <laughs> so we're gonna have a beautiful rainbow. All right, so like I said, we're gonna start right here at the mantle. I think for my streamers, I'm just gonna try to use regular like scotch tape. I'm gonna like start right here in the center of my mantle. I'm gonna give this some twist. Just gotta get like a little movement to it. All right, and I'm gonna tape it. <laughs> I'm gonna tape it down here on my floor. All right, so you can see we got like three red going all the way down to the floor. Now I'm gonna move on to like all the other colors. I think this would be great like in a classroom too, like if you're a teacher or like a preschool. Or... All right, now we're gonna take our beautiful yellow. Gosh, I love yellow. <laughs> Especially like spring and summer. Oh, I'm so ready for this bright color. All right, now we're gonna take our green. So now we're gonna take our blue. Y'all, look how cute. This is already looking. Ha! I love it. All right, now the beautiful purple. All right, here is what we're looking like. We are not finished with this. And y'all, look how much is left over. You can make several rainbows. Like I said, this would be great if you're like a teacher or preschool or something. That would be a lot of fun. Um, and two, birthday parties, you know, so it's not like a waste of money. You bought this, you decorated, save it for like birthday parties, which Riley's birthday is in a couple weeks. So when I decorate for his birthday, cause I always go all out for the kids. And yes, they're teenagers. Riley's gonna be 16, Presley's 19. I will always decorate for them. <laughs> but yeah, I can save these for future parties. All right, so what is a rainbow without clouds? Y'all, I grabbed the white 12 inch balloons. I used a 20 in here and I grabbed this little pump because there's no way I can blow up all these balloons. So we're gonna see how well this Dollar Tree balloon pump works. All right, let's try this together really quick just to kind of see how well it works. Let's put it over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's working! I might don't need them huge, but wow, that worked. Okay, now if you can blow up balloons just fine, or you have some help, you know, do that. But I cannot, y'all, I will pass out. <laughs> I will fall to the floor, seriously. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a bunch of these white balloons, and then we'll kind of move on. Now, I will say, this is a little like arm workout. So you're, so you're crafting and exercising at the same time. I, I will show you like your balloon. You have to pull it over. It's like the big part, plastic. You wanna pull it, your balloon is gonna go up and over top of that. Yeah, see, I have it pulled down over it. <laughs> I think I gotta move the kids' pictures. <laughs> well, shoot. All right, this is where I think I'm gonna use the glue dots. And let's just take kind of like the bigger balloons at first. Kind of see. Y'all, I've never done this before. <laughs> so we're just gonna kind of 
and like decorate together. So I just put my glue dot right on my balloon. I'm gonna stick it up here. Yeah, I tell you what, especially if you have little ones, y'all, they're gonna love something like this. I'm gonna put some more balloons because I want it to be like really full. I want to fill in like these three gaps, like right here. <laughs> that looks so cute. Okay, so now, y'all, that big black bow. This is from Dollar Tree, dollar twenty-five. This is perfect. I um, use this as like the pot, like of gold like the pot to the end of the rainbow. And when you're done with it, this is a great mixing bow. Just put it like right in your cabinets. Um, so we're gonna use this, but if you've got like multiple kids and you want to each to have like their own special thing, the leprechaun hats from Dollar Tree are adorable. I love these. Um, you can turn it upside down and do like separate ones for each kid. But for now, we're just gonna do this one um, black bow. Right, I'm gonna sit it down right here and we're gonna do like the balloons for our clouds. So I'm gonna use more of the glue dots to kind of help everything like stick to my floor and to the bow. I think I'm just gonna stick it like right down here on the bottom of this and we'll just start. I don't know if we're like rotating different sizes will kind of help too, but we're just gonna try this. We can always move stuff around. <laughs> All right, take this. I get this bigger one right here. All right, so now that we've got like our pot at the end of the rainbow, we got our, our clouds and everything, I'm gonna take some like Easter grass in this green, kind of like shiny color. Just gonna put that down in there, just nice and full. All right, y'all. <laughs> I got Lucky Charms from Dollar Tree. Everything right here is from Dollar Tree. You've got the leprechaun and the rainbow. I'm gonna put that in there. Um, just like something fun. My kid's favorite candy, Riley loves ring pops. I'm gonna put this in there just for that pop of color. But you know what, I'll also grab this blue Gatorade. Once again, I love color, like for the rainbow. Now I'm just gonna like blow up with like some fun, cute little stuff, like some cute little sunglasses. Oh, look how cute these little glasses are. <laughs> I love them. These are so cute. It'd be so cute for like pictures. Now our cute little sunglasses. Put those in here. Um, you can also do gum. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm always buying gum. Put some gum in here. Once again, it's like that color. All right, so now we're gonna take our cute little straws, kind of pop those down in here. All right, I'm gonna take some gold coins. Coins in here. Just like that. Just kind of sprinkle them around. Yeah. So simple, so cute. Here comes Bailey. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, Easter is coming up. You know, Easter's also March 31st this year. So they want to do like a bunch of candy because we're going to get candy on, you know, Easter too. So just some like fun, cute little stuff in here. Cereal. Everybody loves cereal. Gatorade. All right, now you can also take your goat coins and just sprinkle them around. Oh my gosh, how fun is that? <laughs> Oh my goodness, y'all. How cute and fun is this? <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this. That is so fun and bright. Very inexpensive to do. And yeah, you can put whatever you want down in there. Just do color books and crayons. You know, crayons is a rainbow. How cute. I love this. I would have loved something like that as a kid. And if you wanted, you could do an adult version of this, you know, have some drinks down in there or just some snacks. So that would be really cute too. All right, now we're gonna do some fun 
St. Patrick's Day treats that anyone's gonna love, but especially the kids. Um, so, once again, my Dollar Tree haul. We got some clear, just little plastic cups, the little clear bags. You get 20 of these, little party bags. I've got Skittles. We're gonna do some Rolos for the goad. Um, <laughs> we got marshmallows. And then also I have the yellow um, ribbon. You can use whatever color you want. But y'all, this is just gonna be a fun, cute little, little treat for the kids. And this year, St. Patrick's Day is on a Sunday. So if you happen to do like some church, like youth groups or something, this would be like a cute little craft for the kids to do. Our little cups here. I'm gonna start with the marshmallows for the clouds. So we've got our little clouds. Now we're gonna take the rainbow. Skittles, you could also use like jelly beans, whatever the, like their favorite candy is. What you could do, you could go through these, pick out all the reds and then the, all the orange. Yellow, you know, just kind of layer them like a rainbow. But I have a feeling by doing that, you're gonna run out of candy pretty fast. So you know what? It's a rainbow. I'm just gonna mix this all together. I'm just gonna pour it in here and just have like the rainbow explosion. So you just get a little bit of everything. Yes, look. Look how fun and colorful that is. So, all right, we got our Skittles for our rainbow. Yeah, y'all, Rolos. I love Rolos. I used to eat these all the time as a kid. So we're gonna put some Rolos in here for the goad. Once again, you don't get a lot of candy. All right, so we've got these right here. Now, we're gonna take our little loot bag. And I'm going to I'm like roll this down. <laughs> Cause I know if I try to put my hand all the way down in here, I'm gonna spill this candy everywhere. So I just kind of folded it over, open it up. I can now sit this right down there, then pull it up and over. Yes, <laughs> just like that. All right, so once again, I'm gonna take my little bag here and I'm going to open it and like bend it and fold it down. Then open that up. Now I can sit this right down there inside of it. And then once again, I'll pull it all back up. All right, so now I'm just gonna take my pretty little curling ribbon, kind of neatly. Throw that right there. So I got that. So I'm gonna cut this kind of long. And I'm just gonna tie a pretty little bow, just like tying my shoes. Or you could just tie like a knot, however you want to do it. <laughs> Look how cute that is. Ah, that is so festive and cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. And you can also like trim it up too, like take some of this top off. I should've got a bunch of colors of this and like that way I could like uh, made it really colorful. Oh my goodness, these are so cute. These are so much fun. All right, so we got those right there. So easy. Okay, now something else fun that the kids are gonna love. We are gonna take, once again, I just ran to Dollar Tree. I got everything I could there. That way, once again, this is on a budget. Um, we got rainbow sour belts. Yeah, sour dudes, sour belts. It looks like a rainbow. So we're gonna use these. I got Brownie King, it's chocolate brownie bites. We're gonna use this. I grabbed a thing of vanilla frosting. <laughs> I got some graham crackers at Dollar Tree. They're honey, I've never bought them there before, so hopefully they're good. Uh, that, you, once again, you could use some marshmallows. Um, and I got food coloring. This is also from Dollar Tree, but I'm sure you probably have food coloring in your pantry or something. All right, so I know this stuff. Oh, and it's got a platter from Dollar Tree. All right, <laughs> so first off we need our frosting. I, I kind of got frosting like at the grocery or something, but honestly, I did not want to make another stop at the store. So I'm just gonna go with this right here. I'm gonna divide this and put some over here because I need two different colors. All right, so I just need green, 
and yellow. That looks orange. <laughs> That's supposed to be yellow. Okay, so I need more green. So I'm gonna use this for my green. Open this up. Just do a couple little squirts, woo, in there. Mix this up really good. Get it to the shade of green that you want. Okay, so just mix that to you to the shade of green that you want. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the yellow one. Just put some drops, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so we've got our green, and now we've got our bright yellow. All right, so I'm gonna take my little platter here. <laughs> We're gonna take graham crackers. All right, so they are sealed like this. So now we've got our graham crackers here. We're now going to take our green frosting. Okay, we're going to take our green frosting and we're going to spread it on top of your graham cracker. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, <laughs> why are you doing squats over here? <laughs> All right, this is going to be like our grass. Okay, let's get this on here. All right, we got those like all grassed up. Right now, oh, they're individually wrapped. Okay, I've never bought these before. They're individually wrapped, so I'm gonna need four of these. Okay, so our little brownie bites. I like how they're individually wrapped. That way, if you just want one. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. And I'm gonna put this right here onto our little graham cracker. So I'm gonna go ahead and open all of these up really quick. Just put these down on here. And then, like right. All right, so we're looking like this. Now, let's take our yellow for our goad. <laughs> all right, maybe we should have frosting at first. I don't know. We're gonna take our little frosting on top of our little brownies. Get as much as you want on there. Y'all, these are gonna be so fun. This is, you know what? This is like a fun, great thing to do with the kids. You know, get your kids, grandkids, nieces, nephews, little neighbors, you know? But I just love doing this stuff myself. Right now, we're gonna try to do the rainbow. Okay, so look, it comes just like this. All you have to do is just kind of pull it apart. And there's several. So I'm gonna take this one right here. Um, okay, make sure you can see this. I'm going to go right here into my yellow, like my pot of goat. And I'm gonna loop it. And I'm gonna kind of like rub that, kind of work that into my green frosting. Now to kind of help hold this, I'm thinking marshmallows may kind of help me just a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, I can see that one's to fall. So if I put a couple marshmallows. Ooh, yes, that does work. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put like marshmallows like around it just to kind of help as a little base. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that one. I guess I can just pick it up and show you. Look how stinking cute that is. Okay, y'all, we are not done. So, we're gonna do that. We'll take another one. I'm gonna kind of work that right down into the yellow and then bring it down to the green. Kind of work it into the green. You definitely need some marshmallows to kind of give you a little base. Let's do something like that. Okay, y'all, I gotta tell you, <laughs> these are absolutely adorable. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you because social media can make everything look perfect. And then when you try to do it yourself, it can be frustrating. Now, these are too daggone cute. But do you see my toothpick right here? I had to put a toothpick because my rainbow kept like falling down. So, as you know, so right now I just have it like this. It may kind of get hard. I don't know, 
But obviously before you're gonna give these to the kids, take the toothpick out. But <laughs> look how cute that is. You know? Okay, so we got those. All right, so the oven is preheating to 250. We are gonna take a baking sheet and some parchment paper. So I'm gonna leave my parchment paper out. And my oven is ready. <laughs> All right, so, so once again, our Dollar Tree haul on Friday, I showed you the pretzels. All right, y'all. We are gonna make some clovers. Ah, I'm so excited for this. Okay, so what you wanna do is on your parchment paper, all right, so we're gonna take our pretzels, kind of put them together like a little clover, a little shamrock, or stick, our pretzel stick. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so we're gonna set them on here. Like I said, I'm just gonna make a few. All right, so here's how you're gonna look. You're gonna have your pretzel stick and then three of the pretzel twist. Now, we're gonna take some Rolos. So open up your Rolos. Right, so now I'm gonna take my Rolos. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna sit right down in the center of all of that right there. Okay, I wanna make sure that everything is still touching. Okay, everything is touching. I'm gonna put my Rolo right in the center of it. So right there, it's right in the center. And then right here, make sure all that is touching. I'm gonna put my Rolo right in the center. All right, so we're looking like this. And you just wanna carefully go over to your oven. And we're gonna put this in the oven. It's set at 250. Put my oven. And I'm going to carefully, because I don't want this to slide around, because I need that Rolo to stay right in the center. All right, so that is in the oven for two minutes. That's it, we're just trying to get that Rolo to slowly melt just a little bit. And then we're gonna take some M&Ms. <laughs> once again, you can do the rainbow. You wanna get all the colors in here, or if there's enough green in here. All right, yes, because I just made three for right now, so I do have three green M&Ms. But once again, if not, I would just do all the colors. All right, my two minute timer is going off. All right, so got out of the oven. Now while it's warm, I'm gonna take my green M&M and I'm gonna push it down, like right in the center of that Rolo. Like right here, I'm gonna sit that right there. I'm gonna push that down. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, they're not the prettiest, but we're gonna see. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> so they never look like what they do like on Pinterest or in a magazine, you know? But, I mean, hey, they'll taste good. So yeah, I'm gonna let these kind of sit here and um, let that Rolo kind of get hard again. But we do have some cute little shamrocks here. All right, now we're gonna do one of my favorite things to do. We are going to make a St. Patrick's Day float. <laughs> All right, I've got this pretty little glass from Dollar Tree. It's the same one when we did the Valentine's Day one. This, use a mason jar, a regular glass, plastic, you know, whatever you want to use. But I'm going to take this cute little like Sunday glass. And okay, what you're going to need for this recipe, you're going to need some lime sherbet. It's hard to find just lime sherbet. So I got this big old thing of rainbow sherbet at um, Kroger. I used to love rainbow sherbet as a kid. So, all right, we're just gonna use the green out of here, but we will believe me, we're gonna eat this stuff. All right, so I got my pretty little glass, my ice cream scoop. I am trying to get just the, the green. All right, so we're gonna put two scoops of lime ice or sherbet. <laughs> so we have our green lime sherbet. It smells so good. All right, now we're gonna take Sprite. <laughs> you can use 7-Up, whatever you like to drink, but we love Sprite. Just gonna pour some Sprite into your cup. All right, now you're gonna take some whipped cream. 
make them look nice and pretty. All right, we're gonna take our, once again, our rainbow sour candy. Just kind of put your rainbow down in there. I'm gonna take a black, a black and white straw. And if you wanted, you could also do some like colored sprinkles for the rainbow, or you could do green. I don't have any green sprinkles, but I do have this rainbow. All right, oh, look how pretty this looks. Oh my goodness, okay, let's try this. Oh, that's really good. Oh my gosh, especially if you love lamb, like lamb sherbet, it tastes just like it. And add that Sprite to it, mm, that is so good. <laughs> I'm gonna see if Riley wants to try it. He hasn't been feeling too good, but I'm gonna see if he wants to come try this. All right, Riley just got a shower. I'm gonna have him try the streak. And she's down there. There's Bailey. I've got sprinkles all over the floor. <laughs> it's actually really good. Is it good? I like that. Is it? Mm. It tastes like the lamb. Mm-hmm. It's like lamb and lamb sherbet and then the Sprite. Yeah, I really like it. Well, good. All right. All right, once again, just a fun, quick little like treat for the kids, y'all. Green Jello. It is hard to find green Jello. I had to get a big variety pack at Walmart, but we love Jello. So I got this green Jello. Yeah. Once again, just have fun with it. Do some whipped cream on the top. You know, it's a little whipped cream. You could do like some rainbow sprinkles. Just put a little, you know, sprinkles on there. You could once again take that sour rainbow candy. And look how cute that is. <laughs> so simple, so cute, y'all. You know yourself, kids love this kind of stuff right here. So I just think this is so cute, so easy, and you can get sugar-free jello. I love this. Oh my goodness, look, it actually stays. <laughs> I thought for sure it was gonna fall apart when I picked it up. But look, so you got the Rolo and the green little M&M. Put it right here in our cute little tray of treats. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, y'all. This was so much fun to like make and do in the big old rainbow and the balloons in there. These right here, so simple, so cute. St. Patrick's Day is Sunday, so you have plenty of time to like, you know, get some some fun little stuff together. But this right here, and then all of our cute little desserts. <laughs> these are so stinking cute. Now I will tell you, these rainbows, I've got to keep the toothpick because it keeps falling. But that right there is adorable. I love this one. Um, Jello, Jello is always a fun little treat, you know. To something like that and that whipped cream melts fast and then these actually turned out so cute look at that right there <laughs> and look it stays together just that rollo oh, and our drink <laughs> riley took off with the drink so he really did like it you know just some fun little treats for the kids you know or like your work friends you know <laughs> or uh, if you're going to work this week make some cute little treats for your friends but, all right, that is it. Let me know which one was your favorite, you know? And two, if you do make these, which was your kid's favorite? So, but all right, I hope that you have a wonderful day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye guys, thanks for watching.